Okay, so what was life like pre-Tesla? I mean, getting the Tesla Model 3 significantly changed my life. And I've always been a fan of Tesla, probably since 2012. Um, and when the Model S came out, I was just like so fascinated, so in love with it. Kind of just, I fell in love with the engineering and the magic behind the car. Model S was always just like, you know, a dream car to me, but it was just, it was just a little too big and a bit out of price range. And it wasn't really, it, and, and the Model X was, really really awesome but when the model 3 came out was you know when i was just like okay now it's feasible like this is the car for me and it's crazy because i i ordered it in april uh right after the launch i waited two years and the first two weeks of having the car i had serious remorse i just felt like the car was too nice for me. I even tried to sell my Model 3 two weeks after I got it. And then I started appreciating it for what it was. I started to stop caring if it got scratches or door dings. When I let go is when I really started to enjoy the car for what it was and started appreciating how much easier it made my life. And up until that point, the Model 3 was the most expensive thing I had ever purchased. And I felt guilty for that. And then I started photographing the car. At that point, I had sold my DSLR so that I could cover some expenses for my dog, Kona at the time, who was battling cancer. The only thing I had access to was a DJI Mavic Pro 2. So I started using the drone to photograph the car. So, I started photographing the car with the drone because I no longer had a DSLR. And I noticed a lot of positive feedback from the Tesla community. I wanted a distraction from the loss of my dog, Kona. So that kind of like motivated me to shoot more. Um, getting the Tesla also led to the creation of Scentwitch. You see, a couple months after my dog passed away, I adopted a new dog, a puppy, an Australian Shepherd, and I named her Layla. Layla used to play at the dog park every morning. I used to take her every morning, and she would roll around in the sulfuric mud and then make the car smell like rotten eggs. After a while, my friends started to complain about the smell of the car, and this made me think. Why not make an air freshener that utilizes the new HVAC system in the Model 3? I started Scent Wedge to solve my own problem of having a stinky dog that loves to play in the mud. And I posted it on Facebook in the Tesla community and I got amazing feedback. And so I started getting to work and making it come to life. I also started to invest in Tesla because after experiencing the product, it made me realize that that was the future. But it's not just about starting Scent Wedge and running a company. Having the Tesla Model 3 got me involved with the Owners Club. Like, a majority of my friends now are from the Tesla community, and that's just crazy because when I joined, I knew no one, but I instantly felt at home. I felt like I finally found the group that I belong with. And that was priceless. And it's so cool because Elon is like so relatable and so down to earth. And it's just, he's like one of us. And, and I think that's what people outside of the Tesla community don't really understand. And maybe now they are. So, fun fact, all these superchargers that I've been going to today for this vlog have been built in the last year, maybe year and a half. Uh, since owning my car, there's been four superchargers that have gone up within a two mile radius of where I live. That's pretty cool. 
So I guess what I'm trying to say is, the Model 3 has been the best purchase of my life to date. It's fundamentally changed my life. And the car has actually gotten better since taking ownership, which is a crazy idea if you're not in the Tesla community, if you're not in the Tesla ecosystem. That's a crazy idea, okay? And, and every time I tell my friends, they, they kind of don't understand what I'm saying. But my car has gotten new features since taking delivery. It's crazy to think about this now, but the fact that I almost got rid of my car, um, it, it's just crazy to me because now I can't imagine life without the car. Like, I, I can't do the drives that I do if I didn't have autopilot. Like, it, it's just, it's, it's a crazy, it's a crazy contrast to what I used to drive. I think it's, I think it's the future. Hands down, there's no doubt about that. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and subscribing. If you haven't done so already, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe. Uh, gently tap the like button or smash the dislike button. Your feedback is always crucial to me and it helps me make better videos. And that's kind of the point of this whole thing. Sorry I'm late tonight. Really, really hard doing a video and editing it the same day and trying to post. So I'm just trying my best. Uh, so. Thank you guys for the patience. Until tomorrow, see you then.